Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Stephanie. And this week we have a slightly different video to bring you. That's right. This is the first in the series we'll be doing exploring the history of lotion. From way, way back in ancient Greece. To today. And just how far back are we going? Well, all the way back to 500 BC. It is around then that it is believed that the people of ancient Greece began using animal products such as honey and goat's milk. And other natural products such as herbs and olive oil to help nurture their skin. And while a focus on skin care may seem like a more modern fascination, it was in fact very important to the people of ancient Greece. That's right. And while advertising budgets were significantly smaller, and the first product endorsements wouldn't come along for another 2,375 years, there was a very cosmetic motivation behind their use of these products. <laughs> Compared to modern times, life in ancient Greece wasn't quite as cushy, and years of exposure to elements and injury at the hands of labor and military service meant fair, well-maintained skin was a sign of prestige and beauty. It meant women and men didn't have to work for long hours in the fields to support themselves. They were wealthy enough and their skin was proof of it. It is thought that a common exfoliant at the time was a mixture of sea salt and sugar with olive oil. But of course, the Greek weren't the only ones learning the benefits of early lotion concoctions. That's true. It's 1478 BC, and one of the most powerful women to ever rule in ancient Egypt takes her throne. Nearly 1,409 years before the famed Cleopatra was born, a pharaoh named Hatshepsut vastly improved Egypt's trade relations and development. She was the first female known to rule in ancient Egypt and did remarkable things for her people. Unfortunately, experts believe she suffered from one of two skin conditions that is still very common today, either eczema or psoriasis. In an effort to treat her ailment, she turned to a highly carcinogenic lotion recipe, which over time spread bone cancer through most of her body and eventually led to her death. While her death cost the Egyptians a great leader, it also spurred rapid improvements in the mixes that were used to treat and protect skin, and by 1400 BC, fine body oils intended to nurture and protect skin were no longer reserved for the affluent. Even those in the lowest positions were paid with a share of body oils. So as we've seen, people have used lotions and oils to protect, heal, and generally nourish skin for literally thousands of years. That's right, from being a way to show your affluence in ancient Greece, and years later, 3,000 miles away across the Mediterranean Sea, in the lands of ancient Egypt, it cost the life of a groundbreaking leader. Back here in 2016, we are proud to share our full line of body wash, hand and body buttercream, and our new shaving lotion. And all our products are made with natural ingredients such as coconut oil, shea butter, and raw unfiltered honey. That's right, all of our products are conveniently priced at $14.99 Canadian. And best of all, our products won't cost you the throne of Egypt. It's probably not going to make you a great leader of a nation either. Uh, we don't know that. <laughs> but it probably won't. Nah, well, results may vary. And that brings us to the end of our first installment of the History of Lotion. So check us out on Facebook and Twitter for fun facts and centralizing tweets. So until next time, say, say no, no to common, common sense. sense. Bye. See you later.